pet therapy. Um, that is one of our passions here at Reed City. It brings a tear to everybody's eye as soon as we start thinking about the wonderful stories that have come out of pet therapy. Um, it's been about three or four years now since the program has really been up and running. We have put a lot of thought and time and consideration into how we can make our pets um, come in and do something wonderful and warm for our patients, our staff, and the visitors that come in. My mom was a patient here in our extended nursing home uh, about 11 years ago, and I started bringing our two dogs that we had from home. We had a boxer and a Doberman Pinscher, and we brought them into our extended care facility there. And right then I noted that everyone there that had a fondness for canines wanted to pet my dog. So I would bring the dog in with the intent to have it see my mom, and it would see almost every patient there. Well, if I can create an ideal world for a patient in the hospital, I think one of the most important things and something that our hospital emphasizes as a plain tree hospital is to create a home-like environment. You know, it's not this stiff, cold hospital feeling. You know, we're a small community. These are our personal pets that we take home with us. You know, if we can bring a little bit of our home into their hospital room, I think makes a huge difference in a patient's recovery. One particular instance that I can remember, we had a small boy in, in the facility around Halloween and he wasn't eating his breakfast and family was really having a hard time with him. Nobody could get him to eat and um, that was one of the issues for him, dehydration and malnutrition. So they said, to, the nurse said to him, we have a pet therapy dog program coming through and they're all dressed up in Halloween costumes. If you eat your breakfast, I'll make sure they make a special visit to you. And he ate his breakfast down, gobbled it right down, and the dogs came in, we came in one at a time. And I think what pleased me most about that experience was as soon as we left the room and we were heading to go to another department, all I heard him screaming up the hall was, wait, wait for me, they're taking my IV out, I'm part of your parade now. And uh, it was just wonderful. So the whole program just stopped and waited for him to get discharged so that he could come with us through the entire facility and be part of the, the pet parade. We had a young girl that um, from a local children's home, a uh, troubled children's home, and she had come upon her friend that had attempted to hang herself. And the young girl was just very hysterical. And uh, they had weaned her off of street drugs. So they, the ER doctor had the staff call me because they didn't want to give her anything to um, alter her medication-wise because they had just taken her off of street drugs. And the nurse very intuitively said, we can do it with the dog. And the doctor had, you could tell, doubts. Well, I took Tanker in there, put him up on the cart. The girl could not even speak. The room was full of adults trying to make the situation better. She just fell into him and sobbed. I mean, sobbed. And um, I shooed everybody out of the room. And I had hardly said anything. I stroked her hair. And um, I said, you know what? He's just here to make you feel better. It took about a half hour. She cried and cried and cried. And then she got to the point where she was almost cried out and she could talk again. And I said, you know, we're gonna get somebody in here to help you. But the biggest reward for my heart was the ER doctor saying to me, you did with your dog what I couldn't do with medicine. And I was so proud to be a part of that. I really was. We had one occasion with Buddy that was really touching. There was an elderly lady who was here in critical care and we asked if we could come in to see her. She told us that she had three dogs and she really, really missed them because every morning they would come and give her kisses and she hadn't had any of her kisses in 10 days. And as soon as she said that, Buddy turned around and gave her a kiss and she started crying. Um, he just seemed to have a calming effect on, on everyone that he was with. He never got on the beds with patients, but he was so big he could sit next to the bed and they could pet his head. You know, being stuck in a hospital is not fun to begin with. And it just gave people, in a lot of cases, something to break up their day. Um, we got to meet some very nice people here. And uh, you see them kind of forget about what's going on with them for a little bit. And uh, we have been told by the doctors here that uh, a lot of times you'll see blood pressure come down recovery rates seem to increase and that there are a lot of good things that happen on them.